My name is Mervyn Warren, and I uh, am the, I guess, technically former director of A Special Blend. Uh, there were no other directors, but it's just that the group is no longer together. But I was the director of the group, uh, and I produced and arranged uh, the album, Nowhere But Up, that is being uh, re-released. The album, in a nutshell, is um, really a, a collection of, of songs. Um, we, we didn't, I didn't really have a concept per se. You know, these days you sort of want an album to have a concept. It's a collection of songs that I found um, lended themselves to uh, interesting vocal arrangements. Uh, Oakwood is a Christian college. Um, you know, they're, they're, the songs are, um, they're gospel songs or Christian songs, um, but musically it's jazz. Um, we weren't allowed to say that back, back then on the campus, but, uh, but let's face it, that's what it is. Uh, and you've got everything from uh, big band, I mean literally big band, the song Seeky First, which was written by Omera Dawson, um, kind of a, you know, uh, kind of a, almost like a, an old Andrews Sisters kind of thing from the 40s, um, and I added big band. Um, to it. it, my first time writing a big band chart, so that was very exciting. Um, and, and then you know, you, and, and then another song that Omera wrote called uh, uh, "Let It Shine," um, which was uh, more of a funky kind of thing, and got to layer it up with all kinds of synth pads and sounds and percussion and you know stuff. And uh, that was one of the more controversial songs with the conservative. Uh, people in the community because it was up tempo and you know they didn't they didn't they didn't like the funk um, and then there are, you know there are ballads and uh, a couple of songs that I wrote um, that uh, were probably heavily influenced by Al Jarreau and the Manhattan Transfer so there's a little bit of, uh, of everything um, but I guess my as I think back to songs that I would select for the group they were songs that I thought, you know, harmony was the most important thing, period. Harmony was the most important thing. So I would listen for melodies that I could harmonize in an interesting way. And you might say, well, can't you do that with any song? Not necessarily. You can, but it wouldn't always be, it wouldn't always produce the, 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 the result that you wanted, the goosebumps. So it was a collection of songs. Um, most of which we had been singing for a year or two or three, um, but I think I, I think I wrote a couple of those songs you know, for the project. Uh, Nowhere But Up and uh, It Must Be Love, I think I wrote just prior to recording. Um, and so it's a, it's, a, it's a mixture of those and uh, you know, something for everybody. Um, and uh, as I've been living with it for the last couple of months um, I, I've been enjoying it so um, I'm, I'm very proud uh, to re-release it with with no disclaimers uh, I think you'll enjoy it There's nowhere to go